Thank you for being here. We're going to use the Nicer palette from Notoriously Morbid. We're going to do one look on one eye and one on the other. And most likely, we will use all the shades. I have a plan. But for right now, we are going to apply Midnight Sparkle, which is clear with gold glitter. City Lips Plumping Gloss. And we're going to use this instead of Chapstick or Tillamook. Because this does actually moisturize. Like, I actually do really like these. They are expensive. And so be sure to check my community tab for when they have sales. These things are $35 a piece. <laughs> yeah, but they seem to have sales every other month or so, and I am sure to post them. So if you are interested in these, that is the ideal time to get them. And y'all know I don't continue to use stuff I don't like. So seeing me use them tells you that I really do like them. And even as a plumping gloss, what I love most is it doesn't burn it doesn't burn so we're going to go ahead and prime the eyes and do the intro actually I'm gonna edit out priming the eyes and then we'll come back and just get into the look we're going to start with omniscient the shade right here these are our not our glass these are Isom v27s and we're using most of these for um, both eye looks this will be look number one this is going to go on the first half of the lid and I am careful not to swipe too much. We are padding, and after we get it there, then we will swipe just to even it out. And so, easy peasy, that's how that one is looking. I love the formula of these. Now we're going to go into Moon of the Night, this shade right here, and that's gonna go on the outer portion. Is it not quite all the way to the corner? So we're just going to put this here because we're going to put a mat on the outer corner. I was watching um, the Danessa Myrick's Beauty Masterclass and I realized something and I know I had mentioned it before but it didn't really click until I saw her and after her class, Bulba did a class and I was thinking of how I start with my lid shades. They start with their lid shades, and so does Natasha Denona, so does Pat McGrath. But then on YouTube, they tell you transition first, <laughs> crease shade, then the lid shade. And so I was thinking again of how ironic it is, how YouTube, we're gonna take this shade, no, this shade down here, which is, oh my gosh, perspicacity. <laughs> how YouTube, and even that's how they taught us in the course, is do your transition and then the crease and then your lid and then the outer corner. But when you look at these world-renowned um, makeup artists, they do it different. And that's always been interesting to me and I think it just refreshed it in my mind seeing them to do that. Um, because YouTube will tell you do such and such, do such and such. But if you look at those who, like, as I said, world-renowned, and even Scott Barnes, I believe, they do it different than what YouTube tells us we should do. That shadow gave me quite a bit of fallout. I do have on, excuse me for smacking, a full face, but we are gonna put on radiant light afterwards because that does camouflage if there's sparkles under here because radiant light is radiant on me. Now we're gonna take this shade here, which is Owl of Athena, and we're gonna put that next to that first shade. And so we're going actually across <laughs> instead of coming down. And I remember when I did the live swatches, I was saying how, you know, there's a lot of looks that I see in this palette. And so I was thinking today, I had three looks to do. I didn't write them out. I just looked at this today and was like, okay, we're going to do this. But I had today to do looks one and two, one and two, and another day to do look three so then i'm thinking if we use all the shades in this look we might not have to cram in a third look that's what i'm thinking so this is if you like color excuse me this is if you like ethereal so this palette has something for both of you i believe this is 49.99 i do have a link below this was sent to me by the brand and i didn't know it was coming and i was so surprised and excited but um yeah, now I'm waiting for another palette to come. Today is Monday. I have a live stream tonight. This is an Isom. Did I have this brush for that? I did. This is an Isom T37. We're going to go into this shade, which is Glaucopis. Might be pronouncing it wrong. 
and we're going to put this on the outer corner over here oh that's nice that is nice we're using the edge of the brush to sweep up here okay and so we're just tapping right here with this brush wow i have a freckle right here that throws me off this oh my gosh i like this we're taking the edge of the brush again and just coming up along the top edge of that second lid shade oh wow we're going to take a clean one and we're going to come down here and go into the familiar it looks deeper in person let's see how it looks when i put it on because you know what i don't always remember what they look like from this watch <laughs> this looks very much like a mid-tone olive green in the pan and it looks dark excuse me darker in person then it looks where you are and so i'm just packing it on and we're going to feather lightly here and we're going to take the tip of the brush actually we're going to go in with the tip of the brush so we can bring this up here a little bit and we're going to pull it out this way this is cute i thought it was going to be a little bit more deeper than that i thought it was going to be deep like this one but this is a cute look <laughs> this i'm liking this so we have ethereal grunge and we have colorful grunge and both of these are fall looks for those of you who do seasonal looks and so we're just feathering back and forth up here and inward and so this is what we have for that i'm not really liking this shape right here i'm taking the edge of the brush and swiping straight down and we're going to come this way i'm not liking this shape but i did it by accident but i do like the look though and i do like how all these shades are working together we're going to back with this brush and we're just going to pull this out just a little bit i don't even think it's pulling out but yeah, it is a little bit so we're just gonna leave that just like that now we're going to take this shade right here i'm sure i'm going to get followed out with this brush this is a esom v31 and this shade is soul wisdom and we're going to take this on lower lash line <laughs> yes I almost poked myself in the eye oh lower lash line matte color excess gel pencil eyeliner in stage five clinger and on our inner realms also from mac this is stay the night so this is like a bluish type color so we're going to take soul wisdom and we're going to put that lower lash line over here and i chose this brush so it'll blow it out some as well and we're going to bring it over here when i get to this part that's when i start figuring out or wondering what color I'm going to put on my lower lash line and I'm kind of thinking red but I don't I don't know I've been using red a lot lately maybe we'll do green we're going to take a clean one and go into this middle shade which is hiding and darkness and put that on the lower lash line on the other side and that will just leave us this one shade to use this one right here so maybe I'll do green on this side and blue on this side I like I find that I like or I realized that I like this wet right here my upper lash line color to match my lower lash line color did I say that right I like what my upper lash line color matches the lower lash line color and I also like when my upper lash line color matches my lip not always but sometimes it depends on what it is that's pretty I can see that copper right here so that's why i'm trying to put more shadow right there but when i turn ooh, we want to go back with this brush and put that here i do have a pickup for ulta to do today and i'm waiting for uh, my nomad palette to arrive today so we'll be digging into that um oh we got that one more shade to use what are we going to do with that we're going to just take this brush and the last shade in here to you <laughs> This is Night I Stay, and this is a Scott Barnes number 60 brush. So we are just tapping. I was thinking to just put this up here, but let's see what it looks like right here. And I don't like putting a shimmer right here because I have a million right here. And so it looks, yeah, you can see it very pronounced right now, that bump. And when I put a shimmer there, it just accentuates it. 
And so I usually don't put a shimmer there. But we want to put that there. That's nice. Well, that flowed nice with, um, what shade was that? This is this eye. That flowed nice with, um, this is lower lash line over here. That flowed nice with that. This, I mixed up, this flows nice with this one on lower lash line. I think I do want to take a little bit under my brow, just right there. That is it. Okay. Okay, I need to do a little bit more because that showed up more than I thought it was. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn it. Damn. All right. Damn it. It looks gold down here, but look how it looks up here. And that is the same shade. Oh, my gosh. Did I go into the wrong shade? No, because that looks like that. What the hell? Did I go into the wrong shade? Why does this? Did I go into this one by mistake? Let's see. Yep. <laughs> I went into the wrong shade. I put this one up here. Damn it. I'm like, why does that look like that? Oh, and that's a dual chrome. Oh, so I'm going to put that brush down. I'm going to take a clean one. Excuse me for elbowing you in the face. And we're going to take this shade. And we're going to go back into this one. Damn it. I'm like, why does that look like that? And we're going over top of it. Hoping to... <laughs> this is not toning it down. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to tone it down. I think it adds a nice little kind of like, huh? But not in a bad way. This eye is starting to tear and I'm starting to sweat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? Oh my gosh. And this does not look, look like it wants to taper in. And you know, it's the dual chrome aspect because you can see where it's here and then it changes colors here. You know what else I'm going to do? Since this wants to do all that, we're going to start for poking you in the, in, the, in the face of my elbow. This is a Fenty 220. We're going to take that same shade and we're going to put this in our brows. So maybe that'll make it look a little cohesive. <laughs> Maybe that'll make it look cohesive, having that line right there. That is funky. I like it. Oh, my gosh. This brush is good for this for how my brows are because I can place it sideways and it fits. And then when I get to here, I can use the tip of the brush and come along here. Okay. That's what we're doing. That is funky. I like it. So that is all nine of these shades. <laughs> what I'm going to do is something that I normally do. And I use, oh, here's the third one. So we're just going to come along the top edge of the lid shades. Just to blend them into my skin. So that there's no line. And so, not that there was much. But because we put that shadow under our brow bone. <laughs> We're just trying to fill up some space right here. I like how that looks. We're going to take the same brush over here. Just feathering lightly. No shadow on this brush. And I'm still just sitting here holding this palette. Just to bring those colors up just a little bit. Just to take up some of that space. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. This eye is starting to tear over here. So, that is the eye look, y'all. I'm trying to like where to put this palette. Um... We're going to, I really like this. We are gonna, oh, we're going to, this is too matchy-matchy if I put a purple here because this looks purple over here. We're gonna be simple. We're gonna put this over here. This is, see this sweat? This is number 75. What if I just put a green on both sides? And on this side, ooh. Should we be sensible and use a brown or a yellow? We're going to use a, a brown because I, I am going out. <laughs> and at least one side won't look okay. That's cool. And one side be pop, pop, popping. Unless I do yellow on both, but we're not. I'm going to edit out putting on 
the liners and of course I didn't bring out a brush I didn't pull out brushes and we're gonna put Lancome Sils Boost mascara base Lancome Definish Sils mascara and we're also going to put on notoriously more but I'm liking your style liquid lipstick and we're also going to put on radiant light from hourglass all over and under the eye and then we'll come back everything will be done this is the finished look we did everything we said we were going to do y'all and i am feeling it i am digging it so you have a colorful fall grunge look and you have an ethereal fall grunge look i really like this and i do like that we put that shade in the brows and that this underneath is just an extension of that and it's sort of like they're not there depending on the angle because then it's like wait a minute what i do like that i did have some trouble getting this on on top of the city lips but i think it's just because this is such a thin formula and i remember saying eons ago when i was using this i do have to layer and because it is a multi-chrome it might look patchy but it's not it's just a different colors and so if you look here it's like okay where's the color in here but when you turn you see that the color is there you see what I'm saying? So that is that. If you're curious about what's on my face, I have one of the Estee Lauder foundation. I wear it shade four and two, and I have one the Hydro Grip Primer. I have one House Labs bronzers. The House Lab blush we used today was Asai Sky, and we used Fire Opal Highlighter from House Lab. We set all of that with Fashion Fair Set It Loose Truly Tawny Powder. Brows was the Fenty. I realized I don't like um this hourglass pencil and uh, yeah i don't like that pencil the gel is okay i have still been using the gel um but i'm not really liking the pencil so i'm back to but i purchased that for my kit anyway but still i'm like i don't know and so the fenty for our brows i showed showed you what's on lower lash line i do like both of these looks so this is look number one and this is look number two let me know what you think, and let me know what you think of this palette. We will put this down for a rest because we want to dig into Nomad because the vote during the live stream last week was to air those looks before this look with the looks with these palettes. Well, the looks with this palette. I'm okay. I need to eat, and I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> but we have used all the shades, and so we're going to give that a rest, let it take a nap, and then when we post that, and then we'll come back with other looks as well. So this is what we have, y'all. Let me know what you think. I do think the lip goes nice with both. I am happy with my liner today. I'm glad we did the purple over here and the brown over here, and that'll be it. So thank you for being here. Subscribe if you keep coming back. There's lots of information below and a link to see what the perks are for joining if you want to do that. And as always... And share my videos too if you find them interesting and helpful. And as always, self-acceptance, self-love. That is the crazy troll nation way. Thank you. And you will see me soon. Bonus look. And I did the outro and everything. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to add another look to this. So this is still the same palette, y'all. And I think I'm going to do somewhat of a halo spotlight something or other. But we're going to stay like right here. Oh my gosh. The reflectiveness. So these are all green. Well, these two are definitely greenish. This is grungy. And so we may pull this in, but we're gonna be right here, just these four. So if you do have this palette or are considering it, let me hold it right side up. What we're using is this last column and maybe this middle shade at the bottom or this one here, but I think this one. So the last column and this shade here. That's the plan. Lower lash line, we have one NYX Retractable Eyeliner. I know I haven't used NYX Retractable Eyeliners in a long time. This is Aqua Green, and for inner rooms, upper and lower, MAC Color Excess Gel Pencil Eyeliner. You know it, this one is Pool Shark. So we have that on. We have one, the Milk Primer, the Estee Lauder Foundation, Estee Lauder Concealer, and my face is feeling dry today. I used the new cleanser last night but i used my regular cleanser this morning and so i'm wondering if that has something to do with it because i did my regular skincare this morning and everything was fine but for right now um what else sigma cheek situation thank you bestie oh my gosh that highlighter y'all mm. and i did spray the face with scandinavia spray the bridal formula uh fenty brow of course we have out for upper lash line and maybe in our brows depending melt fortune so it's the green but it's like a dark green and for lips yes y'all i'm trying to be prepared <laughs> um 
Maleficent from MAC. It is a lip glass, and I'm probably saying it wrong, but yes, yeah, a purple. But before we do all of that, we are going to apply City Lips. This is Sparkling Cider, and it's described as warm toned rose gold hue with subtle shimmer. So we're gonna put this on instead of gloss today. And this is what this looks like on me. If you ever see on my community tab, the sell for these, that's the time to get it. And I realized I've been neglecting to mention they have a 60 day money back guarantee. And so even if you buy something and you don't like it or it doesn't work for you, you can get your money back. And it says that on their website. So if you're apprehensive about, these things are $35. That's a lot of money. Um, but for sale, if it's 40% off, 30% off, sometimes they have buy one, get one free. I think I mentioned this in the, in the earlier clip. But I do recommend them if you want plumping or even if you don't. Because you see the lines of my lips, like right now? By the end of this video, it's going to look like this. Yeah, these lines are going to be gone. Yeah, so it does plump. And so it's not the plump, like the filler lip look plump. Um, and they don't burn. That's why I really like them. So anyway, we're going to keep this on later when we put this on. So we're going to just layer this on top. The only thing that gets me about the City Lips, because they are plumping lip glosses, they cannot be used for toppers on top of a liquid lipstick. So that's the only thing but I do have other regular glosses for that. So for right now, we're gonna put on our Fenty primer. We're gonna scrape. I'm gonna tell you now what brushes we're gonna use. We're gonna use Scott Barnes number 63. We're gonna use three Esom V27s. For lower lash line, I have out this LaRouche brush. This is angled shading brush. For our brows, if we do brows, this is an Esom brush and this is a V09 and a MAC 210 for upper lash line. So we're gonna edit out priming the eye with the Fenty and then we'll come back and jump into this palette. The first shade we're taking is the familiar, this shade right here. So that's the first one we're taking with this Scott Barnes brush. And we are gonna coat both sides of the brush because we're going to do out here and we're gonna do in here. I was going to, I was telling myself I was going to go ahead and, and trash this one, but I'm not yet because what we're going to do for the first look that I'm going to do with the new Nomad palette, and you have seen that way before this, so this is after the fact. This will give me a feel for the shadows, and I do know how Nomad shadows perform over this primer, but being a different palette, maybe, and it does have a different oil in it, I just want to see what it's going to do before... I use, um, excuse me for a dead in my throat, the Urban Decay Primer. So it's sort of just going to be a test on is it going to perform the same? Because then I'll know, like, do I need to just pull out another Fenty or stick with um, the Urban Decay? And so I was watching Miriam's video when she was saying how with the Urban Decay, even though it has a, a wand in it, when it was no more coming out on the wand, she cut it open and she said it was still like one third of the product left in there. So she depotted it, but then she said um, it dried out really fast. And so she felt like it was a waste. And so she wasn't gonna buy those anymore. And then I thought about how I just bought three, but I did get them 15% off during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. And so that helped me feel better about if I do end up wasting some because it dries out you know, I only paid half price for it. So, yeah. So that's how I'm being okay with that. And I haven't used it and I don't even remember how long since I've used it, <laughs> to be honest with you. So I'm just looking to see if both sides look the same. I think this side is darker, it looks darker. Is this side tearing already? I think I finally, found a way to keep my eyes from tearing. And when I was watching Boba, his masterclass in the Danessa Myricks Beauty University thing, he was saying when you're, when the person, because somebody asked what you do if the person's eyes start tearing. Now we're going to go into Clockopus. And he said, just have them close their eyes and, and like 
sniff and breathe out their mouth. Because I remember in the program, they said, you know, have the person open their mouth. And I remember saying, okay, they open their mouth, are they breathing through their mouth or like just open your mouth? <laughs> it's always just like, okay, I need more instructions than that. Because just opening your mouth, what is that going to do? And I'm not a mouth breather. So even with my mouth open, I will still breathe through my nose. And so when he said that, though, he said, just have them um, close their eyes and inhale through their nose and breathe out through their mouth. And that made sense to me. So what I've been doing is, and I did it today, when I did my eyeliner, particularly on my inner rims, this eye always wants to start tearing, it seems like. And so I closed my eyes and I went... <sighs> Because all of this is connected. All your nasal passages is connected. And so I did it again. And my eyes stopped tearing. I was like, oh. oh. And so I'm glad he explained it that way. Because just saying, tell the person to open their mouth. Okay, so are they breathing through their mouth? Or are they still breathing through their nose? Or what? And in one of Hung Van Gogh's videos, this was a while ago, um, he was doing makeup on an, on an older woman. And her eyes started tearing and he said sniff and she went <sighs> and he said did that help she said actually it did and so that that was in the back of my mind too is the just sniff to get it back in and then <sighs> through your mouth and so so he didn't tell her though like to close her eyes he didn't tell her to you know keep breathing through her nose or to breathe through her nose at all he just told her sniff <sighs> and she sniffed and she was like actually that did work <laughs> and so now i understand Close your eyes. And it worked. Hopefully it'll always work. I got shadow on my eyelashes. And so, but I was like, oh. Cause y'all know my eyes is good for tearing. Y'all y'all do know that. So I'm looking to see if the distance is the same and it doesn't look like the distance is the same, but I do think we're gonna take two shimmers. So, right now, because I like it best when it's just a sliver in the middle. And this side looks more like a sliver than this side. But I don't know, is this part brung in further? It may be. So, we're going, but down here, down here, it looks like it's over far enough. But when I look up here, it doesn't. Now, it looks more the same. Y'all. Even though there's only two mats in here, I'm loving them. So now we're going to take Night I Stay, this shade here. I love these brushes. Now they have angled ones that look just like this, but it's on a slant, like, um, it's on a slant like this brush. And y'all know I want to get some, but I spent so much money buying stuff for my kit. I said, you know what? Let me just chill on stuff for me. Um, and I think... I want to say there was a sale. They were on sale. I think they're, no, they weren't. They were, excuse me. You know what? There was a coupon code. Um, And I was so close. I had them in my cart. I had three of each. I had three of these. <laughs> and they have some new ones like this. And I, I had three of each in my cart. And I said, you know what? No, 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 no. Because y'all have enough brushes. I really do, but it's just something about them angle brushes and because of the shape of these, because they're so small, like for me, these are perfect for detail work, which is what I call working with shimmers and metallics versus the hourglass number three. And I think I have like six of these. So I'm like, I really don't need one just cause it's angled. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it looks like it would be more dense than this one. This one is the T37. Cause you see how this is great for inner corner work, but it's loose. And so the ones that are shaped like this, but it's an angle, I was like, oh, I know I would love that brush. I know I would, but I said no. I was really close though. I was so close. I was close. And it may be a matter of time, but then I'm like, do I need to declutter brushes? I'm not decluttering none of my brushes. <laughs> like I'm really not. But I have enough where I could do a face like five days in a row and not reuse brushes. Because y'all know I use, I clean a brush after every use. Um, and I should say before I do it again, because yesterday's brushes I didn't clean until like four in the morning. But we did brush, we did wash them. We're going to take Owl of Athena, this shade down here. 
and I am coating both sides of the brush. We're going to come straight down the middle. Oh, straight down the middle on the other side of the brush. And then we're just going to lightly. Oh, oh. And then we're going to just lightly start at the bottom, feathering side to side so that it just doesn't just look like a strip. So we went up and then we came back down. Wow. I'm going to go back to stay the night just to put some more on the edges of night I stay. Oh, y'all. I love this. Oh, man. We're taking a brush that had um, this shade on it. And we just, we did not add more on there. So we're just pulling it over into the center. Not adding more shadow on the brush. We're just making sure everything's blended. The first brush, very lightly pulling it over, pulling it in, pulling it in, pulling it over. Very super light. And we're not doing anything for brow bone. Do I want to put green in the brows? I want to say no, but because this does show up as a dark, dark green, we may do that. Lower lash line. What are we going to take? We're going to take this shade, the familiar. Oh man, do I want to take a shimmer? We're going to take this shade here, the familiar. And we're going to start out here. This brush does blow out at the same time as it places. It is a loose brush. It is not a shader brush at all for me, which is what it says it is. And I purchased it half off. I purchased two of them because I really thought I was going to like them. But they are just so loose and so flimsy. I hated it for shading. And I was going to throw them away. And I said, you know what? Just let me wait. Slow my roll. And I tried it different ways. And I like it for pulling out eyeliner on my um, outer corner. And I like it for lower lash line. So if you have a brush that you're like, okay, this is not, this ain't it. I can see my um, primer over here. So we're gonna take the tip of this brush and just bring that out over where the primer was. And this is the shadow that's over here. So, and you can still see it. So I'm gonna go straight in, tap off, and just cover up that primer. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, if you have a brush, you don't like it for what it says it's for. You just use it for whatever you want to use it for. And even though this was, like, really inexpensive, I said, let me just keep playing with this, though, because I really was going to throw it in the trash. And I said, you know what, let me just use it different ways. And I found a way that I absolutely love it. And so I'm glad that I didn't trash it. I'm starting to sweat. This side does not want to come out. Even though it was primer over there. Hmm. And this side did. This side is more rounded and this side has the shape that I like. Always, always, always. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to go back to the familiar. And we're going to put that on this side. My lower lash line. I want to put that center shade on the center of my lower lash line. Draw. I love this look. Oh my gosh. I love this look. This is another fall grunge look for you. If you're into grunge. Or even if you're not. And you don't have to do all the steps. Y'all, I am sweating. Woof. It's 70, my thermostat says 75. I have it set on 78. I have my balcony door open and I have my bedroom window open because that creates a cross breeze. So it's like low 70s outside. And when I'm in the living room, it feels fine because of the breeze. And I do have a fan over there. Um, so it blows, you know, circulates over there. So we're taking this shade out of Athena. No name brush came in subscription box. And we are just going to place that, oh, right there. That's cute. Right in the center. Mmm, that looks like a blob. I should have used a different brush. I don't want to 
bring it too far over i really just wanted it in the center that's pretty all right so that is that so we are going to so we use four shades i don't know why i always feel like i need to tell y'all how many shades Yo, I am sweating from my arms being like this. There's like sweat like coming down like through. Ugh, I hate that. Um, we're going to, I am going to put the green in my brows. We're going to edit out putting fortune on upper lash line um, and brows. And we're also going to edit out putting on Lancome Sills Boost Mascara Base and Lancome Mascara the finishes. We're going to put this lip on and then we'll be back and everything will be done. Also, <laughs> we're going to put some radiant light on our face. I just need to find it. I'm, I moved my stuff. Since I have more space from the purgatory stuff the other night, I have more space. And so then we're, we're going to put this under eye and all over. Yeah. So really we're going to go and we'll be back. Everything will be done. This is what we have. This is the finished look, y'all. I I am digging it. I do kind of want a black lip, but this is cool. This is cool. This would be daytime for some of y'all, and black would be nighttime for some of y'all. Even though if you've been here any length of time, you know I can do a black lip daytime, nighttime, bright morning, whatever. But I really like this look. I love how the eyeshadow look came out. My wings are looking decent. I did not put any of the gel liner right here in the center on the upper lash line. So I did enter, left a gap where the gold was, and then on the outside, <laughs> excuse me, ended the wing. So this is what we did, y'all. This is what the look is looking like. I'm feeling it, I am digging it. Again, this is the Night Seer palette from Notoriously Morbid. I do have a code down below. This is what it looks like. So let me know what you think of these grungy fall type looks that we got going on. My eyes look all sparkly. Mm. We're going to go. Thank you for being here.